Carter calendars allow you to create a schedule and manage appointments with your leads or customers and uh, the beauty of it is that everything happens within your Kartra account and that basically means that your calendars are going to be seamlessly integrated with all the other assets in your Kartra ecosystem your products your automations your mailing lists your uh, campaigns everything is going to be tied in together right so let me show you how you would go about configuring your calendar and here's where you are to decide what type of calendar model best fits your needs uh, Kartra offers you four different types of models the consultant model the recurrent model the gym model and the live event model so i'm gonna go over all four of them the uh, consultant model is for all of you who run one-to-one -one consultant sessions or perhaps er expert coaching sessions um, basically you would define your available hours through the week and your users would slot themselves in your available times right in order to secure their uh, their session through your week now uh, like I say, this is mostly targeted for all of you who prefer to run one-to-one -one sessions, right? And mostly for one, maybe one hour or two hour sessions, but on one particular day, right? Kind of like a one-off event. Um, in the other hand, if you want to uh, create a recurrent session for, for your customers, you would go for the second model. And let's say that you are that you want to run weekly consultant sessions or let's say that you are an English teacher and you want to give classes to one particular user every Wednesday from 9 to 10 p.m. right so it would work in the exact same way as the consultant model but the uh, nature of the class the nature of the uh, of the sessions are going to be recurrent on a weekly or bi-weekly or every or monthly whatever you want right but recurrent now the third model is the gym model the main difference here is that your users are not going to slot themselves into your week instead you are going to prefix predetermine the uh, the uh, days and times where you run your different classes and your users are going to subscribe to them and the main difference here is that these are not one uh, on a one by one basis anymore uh, on the gym model multiple people are going to subscribe to your classes and obviously you can define the limit right so think of it of uh, let's say that you are running a martial arts uh, uh, gym and you're gonna have classes for taekwondo karate and kung fu well <laughs> each of the you would be able to allocate different classes uh, each of them at one particular date and time and people would subscribe to them Finally, the fourth model is the live event model. Let's say that you are running a conference or a seminar or, or, or a networking session or a workshop, whatever it may be. It's something that it's defined on one particular date and time uh, in the calendar. Uh, it's well defined it has a beginning and an end multiple people you can sell multiple tickets to that particular event so it's not a one-to-one -one neither um, uh, it's it's basically multiple people can subscribe to it right so depending on which of these models work best for you uh, you would go and make your choice let's say that I am a consultant myself and I want to charge my my customers for hourly sessions so I would select the first option and what I am going to do let's say that I'm going to call this calendar consultant sessions I don't know. let's say that I am going to uh, I'm going to create a, um, a calendar but I'm going to go I'm going to speed through the configuration process only stopping at the areas that you know truly make uh, make sense for the purposes of this video now here in this tab you are going to be able to define multiple classes now a class is is a very important concept here in Carter calendars let's say that you are a, a marketing agency and let's say that 
you want to give consultancy uh, sessions on multiple areas, such as, for example, paid advertisement, social media traffic, uh, sales and conversions, uh, website design. Let's say that you actually have experts in your team on each of those topics. So you would define a class um, within this same calendar on each of those topics. And then your users, when they get to the calendar application, they would be able to select they, uh, the class that they are interested in, and the, and the, um, the calendar is going to prompt the available times for that particular class. Okay, so here you would define whom in your team is the coach or the host for that particular session, right? Uh, and you can have, you know, multiple persons, uh, multiple team members uh, conducting that lesson, or it could be you if you want, right? Uh, you are to define the duration, like let's say one hour, and the buffer, let's say that you want to, I don't know, say 10 minute break between session and session, because you want to take a rest, have a drink, whatever it may be, right? And you get to define, uh, the days of the week, let's say that I am not going to work on the weekends because that's not healthy <laughs> and I'm going to be open for business from, let's say, 10 a.m. I don't want to wake up early in the morning. So 10 a.m. on Mondays to 7 p.m. I'm sorry, to 5 p.m. And then from 9 to 5 all the other days. And I am not going to work on... <sighs> Let's say that I'm only going to work until the 23rd of December, because right after is Christmas season, right? And I'm not going to work on August because I want to take August off to go on vacation with my family. Now, there you go. So I would configure the number, the minimum number, uh, like, for example, the... Uh, uh, minimum booking notice. Let's say that I don't want to allow same day booking because uh, I don't want somebody to just jump on me on the last moment, right? So I'm not going to allow people to book a session for today. I'm going to select this option there. Um, therefore, when they go to the calendar application, the, uh, uh, the available sessions that are going to be displayed to that particular person will start from tomorrow onwards, all right? And let's say that I'm going to block uh, the, I don't know, the 13th of February because it's my birthday and I don't want to work on my birthday neither, right? <laughs> there you go. So I've blocked that date. Um, and now this is very important. The uh, calendar application allows me to offer my regis the registration to my sessions for free or if I want, I can charge a fee for, for, for my sessions, right? If they are free, um, my users would only need to fill in an opt-in form if they are, um, uh, if I want to charge for them, upon completing the opt-in form, they would be redirected to a checkout form, and once they fulfill the payment, then the uh, uh, the uh, subscription would be confirmed. Okay, and the system would send a confirmation email to both the per the uh, the uh, the customer and myself with all the information, the dates, blah blah blah. All right. Anyway, so let's save that. And let's move on to the next step. Here, communication, the system allows me to uh, set up a confirmation message. Okay, let's say that I do want to send a confirmation message and here I can click on edit and, uh, you know, edit the uh, default message that we get, that we sent. Uh, and let's say that, uh, let me just close that. And you can also set email reminders so I can define uh, a number of email reminders, like for example, I want to send an email reminder, let's say two, oops, two days and I don't know, five hours before the session start, and I would send, I would set up this email. And furthermore, I want to set another one that is gonna go, let's say, zero days and just one hour right before the session starts, and then I'm gonna send them a thank you email. Uh, after the session, let's say zero days and two hours after the session ends. And here I would say like, kind of like, thank you for coming to my event. If you want my information about my other products, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, like I say, you can totally edit this copy, All right? There you go. Those are my three email uh, notifications. Let's now move on to the uh, next step, permissions. So permissions uh, basically means uh, 
whether I want they, uh, my users to be able to cancel a, uh, a session that has already been booked and approved and whether I want to automatically approve or manually approve my, um, my those, uh, those subscriptions, those appointments. If I click on manual approve, the system is gonna generate an alert for me. The, uh, the booking is not going to be confirmed until I actually manually log into Kartra. He's gonna list all the leads uh, details, uh, well, you know, basically his registration form, everything I'll be able to uh, review the uh, appointment details and the person's details. And if I want to go ahead with it, I would, um, you know, I would go ahead and and uh, and, um, and approve that that appointment. Okay, um, yeah, this is not important. I can assign tags, subscribe to lists, to sequences, and run automations just like everywhere else in Kartra to all the people that actually subscribe to my sequence. Right. So, uh, sorry to my uh, to my calendar. So I can assign them a special tag, or I can trigger a, 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 an advanced automations, etc., etc. Okay. So. That's that. Now I have my link. I'm gonna just copy that and open it in a new uh, in a new tab. And here it is. This is the uh, uh, calendar page. And here your users would be able to define. They would see all the available times, uh, all the areas in Saturday and Sunday that are blocked. You will see they will get a not available. But let's say that I want to book a session from two to three p.m. Right. So I would just hover my mouse there, click. I would confirm it and the system is going to prompt the registration form, right? Now, uh, obviously, your leads would be able to change their time zone and everything would be reconverted into their own time zone, right? Pacific, Mountain, Central, and basically all the time zones in the world, okay? So, needless to say, the emails, the appointments, every the reminders, everything is going to be converted to their specific time zone. So, uh that's basically it let's say that i want to book this uh hour all right boom and i confirm my time when i fill in this form the next person over uh let's say that i go over the uh the um the uh, registration the next person over is going to find this box right here in gray plus the next uh let's say the next 10 15 minutes if I wanted or if I had set up a buffer, right, like kind of like a break after this session, right? So the next person would only be able to reserve a, a time from here onwards, all right? And that's how the uh, the calendar works. Once that happens, the system is going to send a, an email confirmation to both me, that's the coach and the customer, the registrant, all right? And all those, uh, how do you say, all those reminders would kick in, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm gonna go back to my account and where would I see when somebody subscribes, other than that email confirmation, where would I see my uh, uh, my appointments? Well, we have this area here called agenda where I am going to see all the upcoming sessions that I have scheduled for for the following weeks, right? Um, I can filter by the, my by my different calendars, even all the different coaches in my team. Uh, I'm gonna see every single person, right? That has booked each particular session. I'm gonna see the ones that have already been completed, the ones that are still scheduled. Um, if for whatever reason I need to uh, reschedule any particular session, I would simply click on this uh, on this one on this particular link, and I would reschedule this session to this for this particular lead. And again, obviously, an email reminder or an email confirmation would go out to this lead letting him know that the class has been rescheduled, right? Um, moreover, if I want to have an overall look, I would simply go to the calendar area and I am going to see here all the sessions that I've, uh, that I've configured, right? So I know that I have on Monday and Tuesday, I have quite a few sessions booked up, but then, you know, Oops, sorry about that. But then on my, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you know, I am pretty much available. And obviously, needless to say, as the time goes by, all these calendars are going to be fill in, uh, uh, filled in. Uh, you're gonna see those that have already been completed. And if I hover my mouse again, I'm gonna see the details of 
the exact date, time, uh, the status, which is a schedule, the duration, one hour, the person that is gonna I'm gonna be conducting the session with, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So all the details that I need to know in order to not only create the uh, sketch, the uh, uh, session, the calendar, but as well to manage my individual appointments so I don't miss anything. All right, that's pretty much the calendars. Uh, um, feature here in Kartra. If you want to play around, you're going to find this new link here in the sidebar. Um, go ahead, play around, and if you have any question, just let us know. Thank you.